The search for a serial bomber in Austin, Texas last night was the fifth explosion in just about three weeks. A new explosion today at a package facility near San Antonio. The state's attorney general has just confirmed the package was mailed from Austin to Austin. ABC's Maggie Ruley has the story. Austin, Texas remains on high alert as this morning an entire building has been evacuated after reports of a suspicious package. Coming as overnight, another explosion rocked Texas. There were nails, nails in the barn. Package was going to Austin. This time at a FedEx distribution center in shirts about an hour outside Austin. A package had been traveling along the automated conveyor when it had, had exploded. It's believed the box contained nails and shrapnel. No one was seriously hurt. Give me an engine out there as well. And uh, just in case there's any subsequent bombs. As emergency crews secure the scene, 500 state and federal law enforcement agents are racing against the clock in nearby Austin. A city terrorized by what authorities are calling a serial bomber with four explosive detonations in less than three weeks. We would like the bomber to reach out and talk to us. We think it's important to establish a dialogue to find out why is this happening. Two people have been killed, four others injured. Authorities say the fourth explosion on Sunday night marks a frightening new change in strategy. With this tripwire, this changes things. It's more sophisticated. It's not targeted to individuals. The suspect setting up a nearly invisible wire in this quiet residential neighborhood, waiting for a random person to trip it and set off the bomb. When I heard it was a bomb, uh, I was really distraught. And because it was one of our friends, one of our neighbors we've known for a really long time. There have been nearly 900 calls about suspicious packages, but so far authorities say they have no leads on a suspect and absolutely no idea why this is happening. Maggie Ruley, ABC News, New York.